What is up, Internet? I am Tatashi, and welcome to a 2023 Bikubot tutorial. So, first and foremost, I'm going to preference this. In this tutorial, you do not need Wavelink, Go XLR, or Voice Meter. This is the, like, bare bones if you don't want to use those options to route your audio. So what you're going to do is you're going to isolate BikuBot from the rest of your computer through application uh, beta. I'll show you in a second. I have it set up here, but I want to show you during this tutorial what it will do. So you're going to do the same one we've done before with a little bit of a difference. Um, so I'm going to hit play. You're still going to be able to hear it, but keep an eye on this audio bar right here. Test Tom, this is a test. So it played its audio through OBS still. The goal with this setup is so the stream can hear BQBot for you. So what we're gonna do is if you're new to the whole experience, uh, I'm gonna walk through it, but uh, it's gonna involve two things. You're gonna need the open and close of your PNG and then what you would do instead of having a separate audio source. So for BikuBot, what you would do in the original uh, tutorial is you would have it select an audio device and a text-to-speech audio device. You can leave those set to default if you have no other option. Um, I highly recommend like not putting it on your desktop audio as sometimes a lot of people will have their desktop audio mixed on the audio mixer for OBS. So what will happen is it will double play BQBot through your stream. But what you'll do is you'll basically set it up to like default or something where you have it sep or a separate audio line. So it's separated from your game audio, your desktop audio and such. If you don't have that option, um, then I would recommend if you want a free alternative, we have the voice meter tutorial. And then also uh, I have set up so far, I've set up a Go XLR and Wavelink. Uh, those are amazing programs. Uh, I don't know about the Go XLR program. I think you have to have the Go XLR, like uh, the switcher. And then for Wavelink as of 2023, you either have to have a Elgato microphone, the Elgato, uh, X T R it's just the, uh, the it's wow. It's on tip of my tongue. I'm sorry. It's like super late. The audio interface that they have that like lets you plug in a XLR microphone and then the uh, stream deck plus will also let you control uh, wavelength. Uh, but as of right now for this tutorial, like I said, we are only focusing on an alternative if you have no other options. So keep this on default. So just for the tutorial, I'll switch it to default. I'm not afraid to do it because I know how to fix this. I've done this a dozen times and I've helped out a lot of people in the community. And like I said, if you need anything, let me know in the comment uh, the comments below. Uh, I usually uh, can figure out the problem for you or I do private consultations, but I do have to disclaim, I am not a part of BikuBot support team or have any relations with them. I just help out as much people as I can. I think the program is really fun and amazing and it beats out, in my opinion, mix it up because I have so many issues with mix it up. So after you set up your thing, now, just in case, if you've not seen the other tutorials, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to open and close, like just name whatever your open mouth and closed mouth of your PNG tuber is or your PNG pet, whatever you have. Uh, go to filters and then you're going to add in. Oh, sorry. It's the audio source. So add those in. Then what you'll do is hit the plus symbol. If you're on OBS 28 or currently 29, there should be something called an application audio capture beta. This is basically going to rip the audio from your computer through the application and you don't have to like have it recording your desktop and such. Um, I found that to be a workaround for some games that I have an issue with with recording audio, but as of right now, it's a good way to bypass not being able to uh, have, you know, voice meter, wavelink, or go XLR. Uh, so you're going to click, add it. Actually, you know, I'll just add another one and show you. Uh, click application, hit OK. 
it's going to say which window scroll down to where you see biku bot match title otherwise find window of the same type go ahead and hit okay i'm not going to add it i'm going to remove this one but you should have exactly what we have here i called it biku bot and once you get here of course hit okay right click on biku bot filters you're going to go to the plus symbol. If you have not seen the other tutorial, usually in, in the description below, we have uh, stream effects and move transition as the options. What what these things do, oh, and the WebSocket as well. What these things do is they help uh, communicate with BicoBot and then also uh, cause the reactions to happen, which is when sound plays through BicoBot to OBS, it will trigger an effect, which is open and close the mouth. So uh, you're gonna add two uh, moves. You're gonna name one open, you're gonna name one close. You're gonna do meter type magnitude, easing 2.00, action, source visibility, the scene, which is whatever you named the Bikubot scene, source open, enable under, and disable or sorry enable over disable under enable over and disable under again sorry it's super late um basically that is what you want open to be and then threshold of 2.00 when you get to close it's the same thing except you want scene to be bikubot or whatever you named the scene source is to be closed and then threshold is enable under and disable over. Enable under and disable over. And then threshold of two, easing it to magnitude. Like I've done this a dozen times. I it gets it gets it gets to me a little bit. Um, because the only thing I actually forget is the easing and threshold number, and that's about it. But once you do that, you're gonna close. And then I'm going to test and see if it works or I'm losing my mind. Man. Test Tom, this is a test. It should work. All right, so I double checked it as well and it it works. So basically from this point further, you should have Bikubot working. But another thing I always forget to preference with a lot of people cuz it's um it's Bikubot, uh, you have to use OBS there. You cannot use Streamlabs. So please do not do not ask about it. The developers have come out and said why they will not allow Streamlabs. But also say, for example, like I have the desktop team right here and I want to add Kyle to it. Right click or the plus symbol, add scene, Kyle, boom. And then you can adjust Kyle here, and this is called nesting. So you never have to change anything with Kyle on your gaming screen or your just chatting screen. You'll have to change it on your your Kyle screen. So if you wanted to add stuff to it, like I used to have a uh, snack pack and a drink with him, or I used to have like a put a hat on him. Like you would do it here, and then you would never have to worry about adding resources into uh, your game scene or your just chatting screen. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I, like I said already, uh, I am not supported by Bikubot support team or have any connections with them. I just do this out of the kindness of my heart because I know a lot of people uh, get frustrated with this program. It's not as hard as it looks. It just takes a few extra steps. So um, if you have any issues, I always refer back to the comment section. Um, if it is a little bit more complicated, I am in their Discord uh, you can also just uh, message me there. Um, I prefer you to ping me in the Discord versus just sending me a direct DM because um, I could schedule around uh, a private consultation time to get you set up. Uh, but like I said before, uh, please make sure when you're doing this that you understand that a lot of us are very busy. Please have patience with us. And it's, it's not as hard as it seems. It's just a little bit more complicated when you don't have certain tools to use. So... Uh, we'll try to find a way around it. Uh, one of the ones is voice meter. I find it to be very problematic, but once you get it working, it's smooth sailing from there. So I'm Tatashi and I'm signing off.